So I'm a big fan of the uh, Nike Invincible Run 3 and that sneaker I think is really, really comfortable and I'm not like a, a massive runner and I do sometimes do cardio, that, that kind of thing to, you know, to burn off some calories. But uh, the Invincible Run 3 is one of those sneakers that are completely like, awesome for that kind of stuff and even sort of for walking around casually. And I had a pair of uh, New Balance 1080 uh, 12s and I didn't really like those. I had tried them on foot and basically I was, you know, there was sort of reviews online saying that your fresh foam is really good and really uh, supportive and also very sort of cushiony soft. And I didn't feel that that much in all honesty. And I have a pair of uh, New Balance slides which have the same sort of technology in it. And granted, it's not gonna be sort of a one-to-one -one tech, but I found that those sort of bottomed out really quickly. So, and I wasn't that impressed with the V12. But I thought I'd take a look at the uh, the V13 and see what these are like. And it's in the black colorway. And to me at the moment, when I sort of looked at them earlier, they, they sort of feel like uh, a bit softer to the touch because I think the previous version were quite hard. And in terms of the, the, the look and style of it, it looks very much the same as the, the, the V12, uh, in all honesty, there isn't too much different and they're still using this kind of rough to the touch upper and i wish like new balance did a better job with the upper materials because that's where that sort of usually sort of sets them apart especially for their lifestyle models and granted this isn't sort of a lifestyle model but i just feel like when you sort of feel inside this as well it doesn't feel that great it feels, it feels nice but not not amazing and i probably just want it to be a bit nicer in quality especially on the outside as well i, I feel like usually and this, this applies to the Nike Invincible run as well. That they, this kind of material usually sort of runs down quite quickly, uh, in my opinion and my experience anyway. So, but the trainer itself is, like I said, the midsole feels sort of quite sort of soft and squishier than a, a, a 12 version. So I haven't put these on foot yet, so I'm, I'm assuming that will then sort of translate over to, to when you wear them, they should be quite sort of soft. And the traction pattern is quite similar as well, as you can sort of see, it's uh, got this kind of bubbly sort of oval effect going across the sneaker, which uh, is good for traction and it feels quite sort of grippy as well when you sort of put in your hand next to it. And uh, just, uh, just a very sort of, you know, simple uh, sneaker from New Balance, nothing too sort of major. I'm not sure if it's worth the £160, but then I'll probably say that about the Invincible Run 3 as well, so I don't know if that's worth that much money. So here are the details for the New Balance 1080 V13, black and white. It comes in a black and white colorway. And this has a Fresh Foam X in the midsole. That's what uh, technology that New Balance use in their products. And it's a similar te technology to a Adidas Boost or a Nike uh, Invincible Run Zoom X type material. So it just gives you that sort of bounce back and support and softness as well at the same time and uh, and also sort of stability as well and, and just that cushioning for impact protection. So especially sort of more for when you're running really. So when you're running, you know, you get that kind of bounce back when you're sort of landing from your forefoot to your heel and taking off, uh, for example. So it's a, it's a nice bit of tech. And it also has an endurance outsole. And it's made up of primarily synthetic upper materials and the price was £160. So with the uh, comfort and sizing, these have a sort of soft to medium sole. I think the uh, thing about these is they feel a lot more sort of give and squishier than a, a V12. And uh, for, for me, I prefer this over the V12, that it, it has sort of enhanced uh, quite a bit in terms of tech. Not like uh, miles above, but it's still sort of a good iteration on top. And this feels more similar to a, a Zoom X, in my opinion, uh, from Nike. And it also has, a, you know, as you would with the runner, great arch and heel support as well. So you should have no issues there. Obviously, your heel sits slightly further up than uh, if you were flat footed, for example, because of the thicker uh, foam in the heel area. And you can go uh, true to size on these. They, they work fine true to size. I tend to just go up half a size just for extra space. but. I could also easily go true to size with these. And uh, the traction is very good as well. It's very sort of grippy and very sort of responsive. So with the look and style, I like the uh, 
chunky uh, silhouette so it's very similar to the v12 as well and but i prefer this model in terms of its looks and these are good for you know sort of if you're wearing them casually then it's good for sort of spring summertime however obviously if you're running in them it's pretty much any time really and a uh, good sneaker to wear sort of casually you know if you would like want to be just walking around sort of for lifestyle purposes and i don't see why you won't be able to sort of rock these with uh, sort of joggers or you know a pair of jeans it should be fine and uh, you can go with the uh, black laces but also white would work in these and also sell so with the final thoughts i like the fact that it's sort of kind to your feet in the sense that if you're you know especially using it for running then you're not going to get any of the issues that you normally would with a, a sort of firmer sole trainer and so for that reason it's sort of less fatiguing and, and also less uh, impact on your joints in general and uh, these also feel lightweight as well so they do feel very lightweight even though they've got like a chunky uh, midsole they still feel very sort of lightweight on foot and very sort of nice in that respect and they feel very very comfortable as well like i said there's a lot of squishiness going on and that's a good thing if you just want you know all, all day comfort with no issues but just remember your uh, foot sits, sits slightly higher than your average sneaker so you will feel that and uh, it's got endurance on the outside so that should last some time usually with like uh, any sort of new balance product with endurance on there the compound usually lasts a bit longer than a, a standard sort of rubber outsole in terms of cons i think the uh, cost is probably slightly a bit too high at 160 pounds and it's uh, competing with uh, the say the invincible run and uh, i think probably could be doing a little lower but 160 pounds isn't too bad because the invincible run sort of retails at 185 and uh, also like i said because of the chunky midsole you might not find that very comfortable for sort of casual walking uh, because you do sort of slightly elevate it and also you may not like it for running as well for that purpose like only if you really want sort of softness on your foot and you know you don't want to experience any kind of pains in your sort of shins and and ankle and and knee area then you know this is a good one to have for that sort of softness and give you that impact protection and i experienced sort of stability issues in these i think it's mainly probably to do with initial wear and uh, that should sort of subside more than you wear them because the more you get used to them but because of the sort of squishy nature you kind of feel a bit a little bit wobbly uh in, in my opinion but i'm sure that kind of will sort of like i said recede after a while the more you wear them and they kind of i think in terms of sort of fresh foam especially the v12 they kind of sort of the, the fresh foam sort of bottoms out after a while so in my opinion that's one of the things that you need to sort of look out for because i think uh, with uh, the other technologies it's not so bad but i think like for example with adidas boost that's that's a well-known one for you know bottoming out in terms of its tech so you feel that softness and you feel that bounciness and and then all of a sudden after about 10 15 hours it's kind of gone or you don't experience it as much so with the ratings i give the look and style for this a four out of five it's a nice looking sneaker but it's not like anything special and uh this is a particular you know even though i've, I've got the black black colorway some of the other colorways aren't that inspiring either and the comfort i'll give it a four it's a uh, nice it feels nice i don't think it's as nice as uh, in invincible run still i think the zoom x tech is a bit nicer and just a a bit more uh, nicer to wear in my opinion and just if i was choosing one for running and i'd probably choose the invincible run and the quality i give it a four it's mainly because of the sort of knit upper really and also like i said i think the fresh foam will sort of uh, bottom out after a while so that's my only issue with these and the pricing just uh, i think it's priced a little too high for 160 because like i said it's competing with like the invincible run and I think the Invincible Run still sort of reigns supreme on this. So overall, I give this one a four out of five. I think it's it's very close still, and it just just depends on what you like really. Uh, if you like the New Balance Tech more, and uh, if you like fresh foam, then you probably go for these. And uh, and also New Balance have sort of slightly wider silhouettes in general, so you can probably uh, might feel better off with these. But for me, I think I prefer the Invincible Run still. So I think for me, that's the one trainer that's got to be beaten at the moment for running anyway <laughs>